Hi, Caleb with Brown Eyes here. And in today's quick tip, I wanted to talk about alumahide colors. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of Magpul P mags, all painted in different colors. No, we don't sell all these P mags in these colors. Um, what I did, I took every color of alumahide paint we had, and then I sprayed uh, P mag with each color, with the exception of clear. I don't, I don't have clear here. Um, actually, yes, I do. The clear magazines right here. It's just clear so yeah, I'm joking all right <laughs> anyways let's let's move forward here all right so I thought this would be a really good opportunity to just kind of show you all the colors like on camera with something you can compare them to the reason being is because when you look at these colors on a screen uh, just like by itself you can look at it on four different screens and it's going to look like four different colors because unless those all those monitors or screens or whatever are tuned uh, exactly the same, all those colors are going to look different. So without something to compare it to, it's kind of pointless to look at it on screen. Alright, so the biggest question is the Magpul Flat Dark Earth. So this is a factory Magpul Flat Dark Earth stock. Uh, so this is like the dyed plastic. This isn't painted. And the closest alumahide color to this is probably going to be... I want to... So there... We used to have... So let me let me just back up just a little bit. We used to have a color called Magpul Flat Dark Earth, you know, back in the day. It didn't really look that close to the Magpul Flat Dark Earth, um, which is extremely unfortunate because of the name, right? So now we have, let's see, yeah, this one here, uh, the new color is called Magpul Tan, and that's pretty dang close to Magpul Flat Dark Earth, right? All right, so if you're looking for it, uh, buy the Magpul tan today and that's gonna match pretty close to your Magpul stock. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. None of these colors are gonna match your furniture that's dyed plastic 100%. It's not possible because one's dyed plastic and one's a spray on paint, right? I always say this, if you want everything to match, you have to paint everything. That's just, there's no way around it. Um, even when it comes to like other coatings like gun coat or Cerakote, if you want everything to match 100%, you got to paint all of it because the, even the sheen, which is the, the shininess, is going to be a bit different, right? All right, so this one right here uh, has a little bit more of a shine to it. Uh, this is the Earth Brown, and I'll just kind of set these. So this is Earth Brown right here. I'm setting down. All right. This is the Magpul Tan. And then on the other side of Earth Brown, I'm going to put Coyote. So you can kind of see how those colors kind of look with each other. And then I'll even go ahead and throw down the Magpul Flat Dark Earth stock so you can see there. Um, and yeah, so you can kind of see how those colors all contrast together. All right, let me set these down in a random order so I forget where they go. And kind of looking at blacks as well. So this, this right here is matte black. And it looks pretty dang close to just like the standard PMAG, but it, it just has that painted sheen to it, if you will. Uh, and then of course you have gloss black, or semi-gloss black, excuse me. And obviously that's gonna be the same color, just a, a bit glossier. All right, and this one here, is going to be the desert tan. And just to kind of get an idea of how that looks, that's it against a piece of Magpul flat dark earth furniture there. All right, and let's talk about, let's talk about, um, you know what, let's jump over to the greens. So this is a, this is the OD green. And honestly, the OD green in the paint is almost more, so this is an OD green stock. And as you can see, it is significantly lighter because there's really no like set standard to what OD green is as far as, you know, just being exact. So you can get, you know, OD green stuff from different people and it'll, or different manufacturers and it'll look different as you probably already know if you buy OD green stuff or flat dark art stuff or just any colored stuff in general. All right, so that's what it looks like compared to th that. Now, the other two colors that do have a bit of green in them 
are gonna be your parkerizing grays. Um, and that's done intentionally because they're meant to mimic like that old military uh, parkerized stuff. Uh, like your old like M1 carbines and stuff that kind of have that, develop that greenish tint over time. Uh, so this is the dark parkerizing gray compared to the standard parkerizing gray. So parkerizing gray is on top, dark parkerizing gray is on bottom. And as you can see, the parkerizing gray does have a bit more green to it. Uh, the dark parkerizing gray has a bit more actual gray to it. And just for comparison here, this is the Magpul gray, um, which is actually a little bit darker than what would be considered like a sniper gray Cerakote, if you will. And then talking about wolf gray, which is the best color, uh, that's gonna be here on bottom. So wolf gray, dark parkerizing gray, up to parkerizing gray at the top. And those are the main gray colors. And someone's gonna ask, you know, how does that kind of compare to a sniper gray? Uh, sniper gray being a Cerakote color, not an Alumahide color. I have this Aero chassis here, this Aero Precision Solus chassis that is Cerakoted with uh, sniper gray. And this is your dark parkerizing gray and parkerizing gray sitting on top of a sniper gray, which you know, you can kind of see there. And then of course, comparing wolf gray to that. Wolf gray is just a lighter version of sniper gray, essentially. All right. So let's talk about this other color here that I didn't cover. Uh, this is the stainless steel, stainless steel gray, which is basically just an even lighter version of the wolf gray. Uh, this one kind of threw me for a loop because I've never really used it much before. Uh, but when you spray it, it goes on super glossy. Like you, you think it's gonna be like crazy shiny, but it actually dries pretty matte. It's like a matte bead blasted stainless steel is what it, what it comes out looking like, uh, which is pretty cool. So this is the stainless steel gray underneath the wolf gray. So you can kind of see there. So if you're gonna be mi mixing and matching colors and you know doing different camo patterns, um, this is a pretty good place to, to kind of start and see what your colors are actually gonna look like. And I know someone's gonna be complaining, you know, they, they should make it to where it matches 100%. Um, that's just not possible. Even, so for example, this Magpul stock, Magpul Flat Dark Earth, Magpul Grip. This is an AK grip, but uh, this is also Magpul Flat Dark Earth. And as you can see, they actually do not match each other because they weren't manufactured at the same time in the same batch of plastic and dye or whatever. Uh, and that's why no paint color is ever going to match it 100% because they don't even match each other 100%. Uh, that's why we make the joke, you know, 50 shades of flat dark earth. But that applies to pretty much every color. So uh, hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of these colors compared to each other. As I mentioned before, this is every color of Alumahide we currently carry at the time of this video. Uh, but I will note, I know I said Magpul tan here, but if you have a can that says Magpul flat dark earth or just flat dark earth, uh, that's all the same colors. We're going through a bit of a transition period with our colors. Uh, so just know that, you know, whichever one of those you have, that's all technically the same color. Uh, I know that's a little confusing, but uh, from here on out, it should be all pretty consistent. So don't worry about that. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.